Think your life's chaotic? Try out running a star blasted out of the galaxy by a ravenous black hole. Meet S5 HVS1, the cosmic sprinter barreling along at over 1,700 kilometers per second. That's right, this little show-off got tossed from the Milky Way's core like yesterday's trash. And if you're itching to know whether it might crash our cozy solar system or, you know, obliterate it, well, buckle up. Because in the next few minutes, we're diving straight into galactic mayhem you never asked for and probably can't handle. Before the panic, let's find out how it got to be such a speed demon. Turns out, you can blame the supermassive black hole at the galaxy's center, Sagittarius A. Decades ago, astronomer Jack Hills proposed that a binary star drifting too close to this gravitational monster could get split apart. One star captured, the other slingshotted away at ridiculous speeds. Lo and behold, S5 HVS1 validated this idea, providing a wonderful case study of a black hole turning a couple of unsuspecting stars into cosmic drama. S5 HVS1 is special for two reasons. It's one of the fastest stars on record. It's relatively close by, letting astronomers measure its path with startling precision. Combine that with data from the Gaia Observatory, and they can trace its footsteps right back to the black hole. So we're not just dealing with any old runaway star, it's practically a stellar trophy, flaunting how well we understand galactic physics. Beyond being a show-off, S5 HVS1 offers astrophysicists a chance to investigate dark matter distribution and black hole interactions. By studying how it travels, scientists refine models of our galaxy's shape and gravitational layout. Because stars this fast don't just appear for fun, they're cosmic souvenirs of black hole banquets scattering like fireworks across the galactic halo. S5 HVS1 also demonstrates how destructive and chaotic the universe can be, like we needed another reminder. Imagine S5 HVS1 hurtling right at our solar system. Statistically, this is as likely as winning the lottery while being hit by lightning. But you want cosmic horror? So fine. Now, don't get excited. Even at ludicrous speed, it'd take eons for S5 HVS1 to intrude upon our territory. The distances are embarrassingly huge. For thousands upon thousands of years, your descendants, assuming your species survives its own self-destructive tendencies that long, would watch this annoying bright dot slowly brighten in the sky. Astronomers, if that profession still exists, would probably say, huh, that's not normal which is about the most eloquent reaction you'd get from them. As it trudges nearer, the star would eventually reach the outskirts of our precious solar system. First stop, the Oort Cloud, that distant junkyard of icy debris left over from the sun's formation. You've probably never given the Oort Cloud a second thought. Why would you? It's a bunch of icy nobodies drifting around out there waiting for something interesting to happen. Well, guess what? Here comes their moment of glory. If S5 HVS1 even dares to swing by a few thousand astronomical units away, it could gravitationally prod these fragile lumps of ice. For billions of years, these comets-to-be have done nothing but lounge about, then along comes a star that can barely be bothered to care about them, and suddenly, they're tumbling inward. Lucky us, we'd get a cosmic fireworks show of extra comets careening toward the inner solar system. Enjoy that uptick in spectacular night skies, just ignore the minor inconvenience that one might slam into Earth and wipe out all life. Consider it nature's way of spicing things up. Still, at this point, the main solar system remains relatively unscathed. The giant planets and our bulky gravitational bouncers continue pretending everything is fine. Little do they know what's coming next. As the star creeps closer to, say, a modest few hundred AU from the Sun, it could start messing with the orbits of the outer planets. Cue the cosmic soap opera. Picture Neptune and Uranus, which have spent eons doing absolutely nothing remarkable, suddenly having their orbits nudged slightly. No, not dramatically. Just enough to matter over the course of millennia. A tweak here, a shift there, and before you know it, our solar system's delicate gravitational choreography begins to resemble a drunken waltz. Are you panicking yet? Don't worry, these changes happen slowly. You'll have plenty of time to wring your hands and lament that your once stable system is now on a slow slide into chaos. Fun times, but we're just warming up. Let's go even more absurd. Imagine S5 HVS1 has no regard for personal space and plunges right in near Jupiter and Saturn, just a few astronomical units away. Now, 
Things get spicy. These big gas giants influence the whole system from the asteroid belts to Earth's stable orbit. Give them a little push and it's like bumping at the biggest guy in a bar fight. Everyone else gets to feel the fallout. A tiny change in Jupiter's orbit could ripple through the inner solar system. Yes, Earth, the delicate cradle of life you're so proud of, might find itself edging closer to or farther from the sun. Maybe it'll swing into a more elliptical orbit turning your comfortable climate into a roller coaster of ice ages and heat waves. How charming. Over millennia, life as we know it might be snuffed out or forced to adapt dramatically. But hey, maybe that'll make for an interesting chapter in some alien historian's textbook. Now, let's really hit the ridiculous button. Suppose the rogue star isn't content just to nudge the outer planets. What if it sashays straight into the inner solar system, something like passing between Mars and Earth? This is the big leagues of cosmic Armageddon, folks. At such outrageously close quarters, you'd have two suns in the sky, how romantic, and an intricate gravitational tug of war. Planets could be ripped from their orbits entirely, ejected into interstellar space to spend eternity as homeless wanderers. Some might be thrown into the sun like celestial sacrifices. Others could smash into each other, painting pretty fireworks across the void. So many delightful scenarios. Just pick your favorite apocalypse. Meanwhile, let's return to the real S5 HVS1. Instead of causing doomsday, it's actually fleeing the galaxy. Astronomers are thrilled because it confirms what they've suspected about black holes and star ejections. By tracking S5 HVS1, they can glean fresh insights into the structure of the galactic core, refining mass models of Sagittarius A and measuring how this star traverses the halo. The data also indicates how dark matter might be distributed, since the star's path reveals the galaxy's underlying gravitational map. S5 HVS1 story underscores the violence at our galaxy's center. Two stars meandered too close, one's gone, and the others shot out like a bullet. It's a humbling snapshot of how indifferent and lethal the universe can be. At the same time, it's a golden ticket for astronomers, rare empirical proof of black hole star interactions. They can crunch numbers, test decades-old theories, and publish triumphant papers about how they always knew the Hill's mechanism was correct. So there you have it, S5 HVS1. A hypervelocity star with a dramatic origin story, flashing cosmic credentials, and theoretical significance for everyone from black hole enthusiasts to dark matter detectives. Instead of smashing into us, it's headed off into the vast beyond. But if you ever need a reason to lose sleep at night, just remember, in another life, this star could have come our way, turned the solar system into a cosmic shuffleboard, and left us spinning in chaos. Feel lucky? Good. The universe runs on luck. For now, you get to stay in your safe, predictable orbit. Perhaps this fantasy convinces you to cherish what you have, or perhaps you'll ignore it and continue as usual. Probably the latter. Well, at least we had this little chat. Enjoy your stable solar system while it lasts, not that you have any control over it whatsoever.